So it's time to upgrade Chris Cooper. He's a big dude in this game. Six foot, 215. Might not be like the biggest dude in the world. But in Madden 18, he looks freaking huge. And because of that, I want him to be able to run people over. So we're going to upgrade his trucking up one. Because it cost me like 7,000K. And yeah. What's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and today we got some more chris cooper starting halfback for the new york g mix we're in san diego we're in la excuse me we are in la taking the charges it's, it's not right man they're playing in this high school stadium as my man odell becker makes a nice catch right there but look at this stadium man this is where they host like crossfit whenever crossfit's like in la and they have like you know competitions that take like a football sides arena like this is where they have cross for that. The Chargers, the NFL team, are playing where they had like the high school California State Championship at. Like it's sad, man. Anyways, we're down by three. Chris Cooper makes a nice catch right there. Eli Manning, you need to find me, baby. Okay, I'm out here trying to make plays. All right, Chris Cooper, he's that dude. Breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle. Spin move for no reason at all. Takes it to the 20. Down inside the 15 to about the 11. Y'all, I check out the replay. Make one man miss. Make another man miss. That spin move, that was saucy. That was a saucy spin move. It was unnecessary. I wasn't trying to do that with Chris Cooper. But you know it. It is what it is, man. So, anyways, Eli's going to drop back the pass. Looking downfield, that's going to be a touchdown, man. So, again, I want you guys' feedback. Let me know what's going on with your lives, man. I kind of want to know what's going on with everybody. How's everybody doing? Me, I'm kind of depressed. Why? Because, man. The Browns cut Joe Hayden. Now, I don't know why they cut Joe Hayden, but they decided to cut Joe Hayden. I'm not a Cleveland Browns fan, but I like Joe Hayden. And, yes, his skills may have declined a little bit as Eli <coughs> coughs it up when we're able to jump on top of the football. Right? Maybe he's not the same corner as I'm going to try to make this catch with Chris Cooper, but he ends up dropping it, right? But he might not be the same corner he once was. He is coming off. He's like, what, a year and a half removed from like an ACL, I believe it was, right? I believe he got injured when he was out for like uh, the whole season or missed, missed a bunch of time. And then last year was like his first year back since those injuries. So you could say his skill is kind of diminished, really. But it takes some people longer than others to get back from injury. And the fact that the Steelers scooped him up like that kind of lets me know that maybe the Browns are tripping. Because even if his skills aren't where they used to be, like, why would you just get rid of Joe Hayden? You know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand it. As I don't understand why Chris Cooper can't get no running room. Right there, Eli had Chris Cooper down the sideline. But no. And Joey Bosa, you trolling, bro. Why is he drunk? Why is he? See, that's why the Chargers didn't want to pay you. Because you freaking do stuff like that, man. I'm telling you. These, these Ohio State Buckeye players, when they get to the NFL, they, they, they act real funny. They act real funny, man. Anyways, we're down by three. Eli, under time, uh, under pressure, I should say. He was running out of time, and he ends up getting sacked. Third and 19, I make the catch. Sets up a field goal opportunity, and we knock that field goal home. But then our defense, they decide to, um, yeah, you know, give up a touchdown. But it is what it is because we got Eli. Eli's the better version of Phillip Rivers because he has two rings and Phillip has none. I'm sorry, Chargers fans, but it's the truth. But right there, he throws a pick, gets chopped down, and that's going to be all she wrote, man. The Chargers, they end up beating the Giants in sunny Los Angeles. It sucks, man, and I guess for this day, the Chargers made the right choice or the wrong choice. I would have kept Eli. Eli would have had to miss his whole career because I'm keeping Eli. Like, I don't get it, man. Like, if I'm the Giants... Not the Giants, but the Chargers. And you don't want to play for me, then you ain't playing for nobody, okay? Bottom line, you ain't playing for nobody. But then again, it is a business, so they obviously made the right move because Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer. Chris Cooper and the G Men. We are in Denver, Colorado on the curse. We got Brandon, Brandon Marshall on the team. And Brandon Marshall, he is a former Denver Bronco. So, you know what? I'm looking forward to trying to get my man a win versus former, former, 
former team, right? But anyways, man, like I'm saying, I'm a Niner fan. And watching the preseason, right, and I know it's just preseason, I wish that we would have signed Joe Hayden. That's why I'm a little bit depressed. Because I really feel like offensive line slash running game and cornerback, those are the biggest weaknesses on the team. On the team for my Niners. You're not a Niner fan, so I understand that you probably don't care. But to the Niner fans listening, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Our secondary, especially our cornerback position, it could use a lot of work. It could use a upgrade. So I was hoping that we would get uh, Joe Hayden. Have I been saying Josh Hayden? I hope I ain't been saying Josh Hayden. Anyways, man, I'm, a, I'm hoping that we get Joe Hayden. And if we do, if we did, that would have been solid, man. But anyways, man, Von Miller, he's going to get up in here, get a sack, and do a stupid dance. Von... I love you, Von, but that dance is stupid only because you sacked Eli Manning. Now, if you would have sacked Eli Manning when I'm using the Broncos, then I love that dance. You keep on dancing, Von, but because you did it against my quarterback, I don't like that dance. I'm going to just be real. Third and six. Now we're going to drop back the pass with Eli. Going to find Chris Cooper over the middle. Big time catch right there. We got this thing going down in Denver territory. Look at that hole. Don't ask why I cut because I cannot explain it to you. Just sometimes when you're playing mutt squads and then you're playing ultimate team and then you jump into an offline mode the timing is just a little bit different and I, i've been balling the mud squads i should be recording some gameplay of mud squads i just haven't been but i've been doing my thing man like like man like this one game that we had is chris cooper continues to struggle chris cooper you ain't finding the holes man you are just trent richardson 2.0 the way that you're running this ball right here as eli finds shepherd nice catch right there and now eli gonna find brandon marshall who i know wants to beat his old team in denver and eli manning gonna drive back the pass one more time and find brandon marshall do your thing big fella big homie first down g man and now second and 12, and you know I need the ball too, man. Chris Cooper trying to eat, okay? We're trying to be the greatest of all time out here. We're trying to be world class, you understand? As we get into the end zone, touchdown number 31 in the program, number one in your heart. I'm talking about big Chris Cooper representing, it says, U, it says you know, UTSA, but it's really SAU, one of my credit schools, one of my old dynasties. But anyways, man. But yeah, so I've been doing much squads a lot, right? And we had this one game, and it was phenomenal, all right? We're down 20 to 21, I want to say. Maybe a little bit more than that, right? 20 to 21. No, I think we're down more than that, right? I think it's 14 to 21, right? And we throw a pick. I ran the wrong route. Me and my quarterback, we were on the same page. He throws it. I'm thinking he's going to wait till I make my break. He doesn't wait. Anyways, he throws a pick. They go down and they score as I make a nice catch like Chris Cooper does on the sideline. I've been doing that in much squads. That catch right there with Chris Cooper, two feet inbounds with your halfback. That's not easy to do. Zeke ain't doing that. Zeke ain't doing that. Zeke Elliott, he, he ain't making two. He, may, he ain't making no catch on the sideline with both feet inbounds. I'm just saying. But anyways, man, so we're down, right, two scores. So we get a nice little kick return. We drive down the field, right, and we get a touchdown. So now it's just a one possession game, right? So I'm playing free safety. I'm out there getting my user on as Von Miller sacks Eli Manning yet again, right? So I get this user pick, this Yahoo Zay Her, and I take it to the crib, right? We go for two and we tie the game up at 28 all, right? The game is tied up. So these Jigaboos, they get the ball again. They get the ball again, and again, they testing my users. I'm playing free safety. There's no clicking on or nothing like that as Chris Cooper runs up that guy for a nice little game right there. But I get another pick, and I take that one to the crib. Like the feeling I had in my chest, y'all like, dog, y'all not understanding how proud I was of myself. Look, just like I'm proud of Eli Manning for finding Odell Beckham in that situation because that gave us a first down and we're able to run out the rest of the time on the clock. But I'm telling you, man, that feeling I had in my chest, I, I have not had that feeling since like I played like organized football, you know, some years ago, right? So like, I don't know what it is, because I have a feeling that at some point, Mutt Squads may be, may be, and I'm not sure, but may be a little bit unplayable if you ain't got the right squad. Not like your players, but like your cards in Mutt. Like, you ain't got a good enough team. At some point, it's going to be unplayable. But, like, I played FIFA Pro Clubs. I played, you know, 2K Pro-Am and Park. I ain't never had a feeling like I did in my chest from, like, playing this game. Because football is just, again, it's the ultimate team sport. 
one guy can't carry you. You need the other two players on your squad to do what they're supposed to do. You know, in Pro-Am, you could have one point guard that's cheesy as heck drop 50 on you, and there's nothing you can do because your point guard can't play no defense. But anyways, man, that's going to wrap up the video. Until next time, this has been the Miles Drucker's 24-7 production. Chris Cooper signing out. Peace. Awesome.